Hello everybody, welcome to yet another episode of Brew with Abdul. In today's episode, we have a world-class calisthenics coach who is going to give us insights on fitness, workouts, nutrition, and how to live a better life in general. So let's hear from him. The idea of a fit body you know, stands on five pillars. I don't have a cheat day. I don't support that. Were you always disciplined? No, and honestly, start hone ke baad bhi bahut time tak aaya tha. The rents were through the roof. Ek building mein ghuse aur puchte ho, iska rent kitna hai? Bade, saadhe, chaar, lakh, I don't think ye hoga humse. <laughs> time hai ki you thought of quitting this no never you know people say that i love what i do agar aaj se main tujhko paise dena band kar du kya tu ye continue karega pasine nikalne ke kisko paise milte <laughs> do you also feel that workout helps you remove your rage lot of people come to the gym purely to vent we are coaches we are not therapists it's one very fortunate and unfortunate fact about the fitness industry it's a mad house 60% is going to be your bmr anything that has a shelf life over 3 to 6 months avoid what is your idea of intermittent fasting kya hai science iske liye people say i am going to go lactose free from tomorrow you say i will not eat rice from tomorrow you're a south indian you can't afford to do that you were scheduled to give a ted talk first of all when you receive a message from tedx you're like ye legit hai ki nahi <laughs> agar ek bhai engineering kar raha hai to dusre wale ko business mein aana hai cuz nobody is going to carry forward the tradition hello and welcome murtaza to our podcast brew with abdul it's nice to have you here thank you thank you very much pleasure uh, is mine The pleasure is ours please how are you doing today doing wonderful i am doing a podcast for the first time okay so firstly i am loving the setup and the moment i walked into the office i was mind blown <laughs> like seeing everything around the way you all have created this space is beautiful thank you thank you so much brother oh, the transition was also really nice huh? from that basement feeling to yeah i was first a little um, <laughs> I was I wasn't too minds where are we going exactly but I have seen one of your videos mm-hmm. of uh, how I think you were holding a broom and that space <laughs> getting created yes, yes. so I was expecting where I'm going but the moment <laughs> I walked in I I see this uh, man, men's den and I see this beautiful <laughs> background it's lovely like I think putting detail into your own office you know it shows that how much heart you've put in first of all and second of all It's not making it look like you know an office that has like ten cubicles and people working on a laptop. Creativity cannot breed in that office. Absolutely, I completely yeah. agree with you. Uh, th- that is the reason we've created in this way. We p- we spend a lot of money on this. I <laughs> can see. To, I know it, it. it shows. It shows. But uh, it was really important, even for them, because they are like really young, so they need a lot of enthusiasm from external forces. Right. So if they sp- see the space, they want to ca- keep coming back to this space, you know. So it was really right. important. Thank Perfect. you for the compl- compliments. Most welcome. All right. So let's start by introducing yourself. Who is Murtaza Nasser? So I'm a calisthenics coach. Uh, <laughs> now calisthenics is a form of training that you use your own body weight. Um, we don't use machines to train ourselves. Okay. It's very different from what a conventional gym looks like. You'll mm-hmm. see more of bars. You'll see dip bars. you'll see free weights i own a gym called muscle bar mm-hmm. uh, i started it with one of my partner ajay okay. and uh, we have three centers now in pune okay and now we are moving one of our centers into a sports club okay. in which one god gifted person i can say uh, his name is aliasgar pune wala okay he is our uh, he's our third partner now mm-hmm. and he's helped us create this space we'll be running it of course so okay. he's like a strategic partner okay and um, now this new space will be having so till now we were in the uh, we were in the fitness industry purely focused on to training mm-hmm. okay um functional training calisthenics personal training etc now we are moving into a bigger space with uh, and adding a lot other sports in it okay which runs parallelly to fitness Okay. Which is cricket, football. Um, there'll be an like like a combat center, like I told you. Mm-hmm. We'll have a recovery center, so if people want to come, take an ice bath, get a massage, okay. stuff like that. And there'll be a health cafe. Okay. So we are like a one-stop shop for every guy who is looking anything about around health and wellness. Okay. So can I know where did this? Uh, what is the reason behind this? Where did this come from? So it's interesting. I used to work in a um, in a gym, ideally. I wanted to do organic farming. Very few people know this story. Okay. I actually wanted to do organic farming, and um, I also did a course. And you know how when you are sixteen, seventeen, you are young and naive, and you feel like I will do ten months of work, 
और जितने पैसे जमा होंगे वो उससे मैं बिजनेस स्टार्ट करूँगा आई हैड द एग्जैक्ट सेम मैथ विच विल नॉट एड अप एवर सो सो आई थॉट दैट आई वर्क वेर एवर आई गेट माई फर्स्ट job this was actually my fifth sixth job i was doing some um, i did door to door sales first mm-hmm. then i went and worked with my friends father who had a hydraulic jacks ka factory okay so i have done hardware and uh, i did real estate for like 2 months mm mm-hmm. um so because in my mind the best way to figure out what you want to do in life is to first figure out what you don't want to do and that's how my my take on choosing my career was okay that's interesting so n- now i knew i wanted to you know do organic farming i wanted to grow stuff and sell i got a job from a gym called multifit and this was a this was like a receptionist ka job okay so i was in their sales team for about one year and then organic farming slowly steadily took a back seat and my interest started to move towards fitness hmm. and soon i realized that you know i want to I want to become a coach so I for that I need to do a certification I did my certification and kya ho raha tha that first that gym had some amazing coaches it was a lovely team of coaches not like any any other gym jahan you know bade pet leke coaches hote hain right. these were all fit and ripped coaches but as i came the structure of the whole gym was changing you know the management mm-hmm. was changing so they were hiring anyone and everyone i had nothing to learn from there mm-hmm. so i left the gym and kuwait has to play a very interesting role in how muscle bar looks today okay so we you all have been to boulevard right yes now in december 2018 my grandmom had passed away and had come here and i used to come here to work out to boulevard mm-hmm. i think once or twice i came and i loved the setup you know right and i'm like why is there nothing like this in my city mm-hmm. so um, at that time when i used to work in multifit i used to have my partner who was a coach already he was a calisthenics coach and i i was in the sales team sorry so when i left i just asked him do you want to start something together then he left a few uh, months later i guess teen char mahine ke baad and we started hunting for a place okay. now when we were hunting for a place the rents were through the roof and usually aap sochte ho are aise karenge aise aise karenge fir jaise hi aap ek ek building mein ghuste ho aur puchte ho iska rent kitna hai bolo 4.5 lakh rupees and then you're like <laughs> i don't think ye hoga humse right uh, but then we landed in a school which had an empty space of around 2500 3000 square feet and uh, we were like we'll build it and we had our mentor at that time his name was abizar and um, he just said that kyu chahiye roof so we were like kaise karenge roof ke bina he like see we are in the month of january okay जुलाई में बारिश आने वाला है ना जब जुलाई आएगा तब देखना अभी चला सो यू वाइक ओके एंड द फर्स्ट मंथ वी इट टुक अल्स ऑल्सो टाइम टू डाइजेस्ट द फैक्ट दैट वी हैव एन ओपन एयर जिम देर वॉज नो ओपन एयर जिम इन पुणे यू आर द फर्स्ट वन ओके एंड दैट्स हाउ एक्चुअली द इट आइडिएटेड आई मीन आई टेकन अ फ्यू पिक्चर्स फ्रॉम बुलेवर्ड एंड माई पार्टनर सॉ दोज and we were like let's build something like this so we just had a few bars and we had a functional floor where people used to come and work out we used to train so he used to train and i used to train and soon we realized that in a span of 2 months we had around 100 members wow amazing and uh, yeah and this purely happened through word of mouth so we were like okay we've gotten a a selling point so this hmm. is what is making us different from any other uh, fitness arena over here right and that's how muscle power started so th- this was in which year this was in 2019 march 2019 it actually all materializes materialized too fast okay because i met him and then we hunted for places we had a third partner before we bought her out it was a long story okay um but yeah in december 18 i was here and 2019 march we launched that's amazing that's a really nice yeah. story yeah um i've seen a lot of really ripped athletes or celebrities who were once fat in their early days of life right. in the childhood were you fat as well in your childhood um no so okay. the interesting part is i was i was always into playing football mm-hmm. and my mom has played a very big role in the way how me and my brother both of us look uh, look fit and healthy okay. okay you see us you know overweight ever right so um she had enrolled us in karate um i think when we were in the Fifth, no, earlier maybe, when we were six, seven year old. Okay. And वहाँ से अगले छः या सात साल तक, she used to send us to that karate class without fail, 
regularly whereas see as as a kid when somebody takes away your play time so like i want my play time back be it any class you're sending me for mere ko agar aap mujhe koi bhi class ke liye bhejo mujhe nahi jana hai taking away away my play time right and my mom thought that this is the right choice to make at that time hmm. that we'll send him for the karate class because physical fitness is important and we did karate for about uh, i think 6 7 years and that is where our base got set you know okay and uh, football was always a very important part of our life and we used to play quite often okay. so i have never been a fat kid okay but i was a skinny kid then 17 i joined multifit and by 2018 december i was already looking healthier than before right so since 2019 till today aisa koi time aaya ki you you thought of quitting this you thought you thought of shutting down muscle bar were there any times honestly no never because i have this very strong uh, opinion you know people say that i love what i do i love what i do i usually ask them one question would you really do it if nobody paid you to do it you know agar aaj se main tere ko paise dena band kar du kya tu ye continue karega right is my question so and the answer for me was always yes so all through the lockdown we hardly made any money the landlords did not uh, what do you say did not wave off the rent right so we continued and if in those days we never thought that we want to close down i mean in good days you never think right for me it's all always about if today nobody pays me to do it i'd still keep training people i just want to understand why you went into fitness and i think you can look back at your life and you can see where the starting point or the initial point can be so i have this information that your your older brother is petrochemical engineer Correct. Yes, he's a petroleum engineer. Right. So that's a very serious job, yeah. right? Do you think that him taking this serious job had gave you the kind of leeway to do what you wanted to do? You didn't have, you know, the kind of responsibilities to feed your family and stuff like that. Did that help you out in some in certain ways? So usually in a family where there's a set business, अगर एक भाई engineering कर रहा है तो it's a given that dusre wale ko business mein aana hai cause nobody is going to carry forward the tradition my father did not have a business so okay. both of us were very much um, we had the uh, liberty to choose our um, to choose our careers okay um my brother chose the science background and i saw that there was so much of studying involved because i used to see him up at 2 am 2:30 3 o'clock doing his projects and for me there is it's still date that if you give me a book i cannot read it through for more than 30 minutes <laughs> my eyes start shutting and i will sleep for sure <laughs> so that's a very big problem so um, um i knew that i will not be able to commit that much time to studies right and uh, that's the reason as soon as i passed m- my 12th i mean i i got good grades i got 85 wow and i could choose any college i could go to symbiosis maybe mit but i chose a college which was close to the workplace you remember i told you that i worked with my friend's father yeah. who had that hydraulics ka factory yeah, yeah. i chose my college closest to that okay so i chose my college according to the work that i wanted to do mm-hmm. at that time okay so i mean um it does not what hussein did usse kuch farak nahi pada okay but uh, the reason why i chose fitness is um we used to there was me and my friend azhar and we used to do this um, this online hiit workout okay you know there used to be a laptop and both of us used to just uh, do it just for the sake of keeping our you know regular fitness on <laughs> and um one fine day one of our third cousin he joined us and um, th- you know that was also the time when i was figuring out my career ki okay. kya karna hai you know right um I don't want to be working in the factory for so long. I don't want to do real estate. Correct. And that cousin no said something immediately after we finished our workout, theek hai? There's stretching going on and he's looking at that coach on the screen mm-hmm. and he's also looking at us and he's saying kya must life hai yaar. Um fit rehne ke paise mil rahe usko. Fit rehne ke paise mil rahe. Pasine nikalne ke kisko paise milte? <laughs> something like that. And that actually stayed with me. you know he said that he's loving what he's doing and getting paid at the same time <laughs> and um i knew that you know physical fitness was always a major part of my journey because i was a fast learner i was good at uh, football i was a good i was good at calisthenics right uh, so were you always disciplined in everything you did from childhood ke ye start hone ke baad wo discipline aaya 
नो एंड ऑनेस्टली स्टार्ट होने के बाद भी बहुत टाइम तक नहीं आया था ओके सो द पार्टनर हु आई हैव ही इज़ फ्राम एन आर्मी बैकग्राउंड सो हिज फादर इज़ फ्राम द आर्मी बैकग्राउंड सो ही हैज़ दैट दैट टाइम डिसिप्लिन आई ऑनेस्टली डिड नॉट हैव टाइम डिसिप्लिन एंड टिल डेट आई स्ट्रगल विद इट कुछ ना कुछ आगे पीछे हो जाता है सो ही हैड अ वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट पॉलिसी बैच इज विल नेवर रन लेट ओके एंड यू और मी विल नेवर कम लेट यू नो सो सिक्स ए एम ही यूज टू बी देर एंड वॉट हैपन्स इज आप डिसाइड करते हो फिर जब एक थोड़ा धीरे पड़ जाता है ना सो दूसरा भी थोड़ा धीरे पड़ जाता है वो पुश मिलता है या बट वैन यू सी दैट योर पार्टनर इज शोइंग अप इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हेल स्टॉम रेन वट एवर यू स्टार्ट टू रियलाइज के फक या आई नीड टू शो अप सो या डिसिप्लिन वंस आई एम एट द जिम आई एम एट माई बेस्ट आई मीन यू कांट आई मीन आई नो दैट आई डू माई जॉब द बेस्ट बट आई स्टिल I still have a problem waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. I, it's not the best thing that I I do. In fact, I read a book called 5 a.m. Club. Okay. And I applied that for about two three months, and it was lovely. But I didn't find it sustainable for myself. Okay. Discipline is something that I feel it compounds over time. Hmm. True. Habits. Uh, habit ban jati hai. Yeah. For me, it has compounded over time basically. So uh, let's talk about habits like. what are the kind of habits that you had to let go in order to have this kind of life for muscle bar pune so i'll tell you one very um, fortunate and unfortunate fact about the fitness industry in a no- for a normal office goer the peak hours are 9 to 5 this hmm. is your office time okay right so all your plans that you make are post 5 pm correct or before 9 am mm-hmm. you may make a breakfast plan with your friend or you make a lunch or you know brunch or a dinner fr- plan with your friend mostly dinner plans correct i had to give up all my f- all my outings with my uh, you know with my social circle because everybody used to meet in the evening because see once mm-hmm. you get to an age of 22 23 24 everybody is working correct. your friend circle correct and you are also working so if your free time does not align with their free time it's going to be tough to meet right and kya hota hai ki abhi aapke char panch dost hai they call you for dinner once you don't show up twice thrice four times and then they understand hmm. that isko kaam hai because see 6 5 to 9 pm is our peak hour so i can't leave the gym floor correct right i need to be there to make sure that everybody everything's running smoothly right and similarly in the morning 6 to 9 so i can't make breakfast plans i can't make dinner plans for sure um that's one thing and that this is the unfortunate part the fortunate part is it made my circle smaller and made the people who mattered stick hmm. you know the people who mad who really mattered they stuck around so um, fortunately that happened because it it's like you know decluttering my life right in <laughs> absolutely a, in a manner um other than that nothing that i had to give up i mean it was just gain and you also know the kind of people who are with you the, for the rest of your life that's actually the most important part because True. you can have a friend circle of like 100 people but um, in bad days only if two show up or something you you knows that something's missing absolutely um can you talk more about um, the barbarian event that you had organized in pune so i think we completed a year with muscle bar hmm. and uh, we found out about this event called all india strength wars okay now it's a calisthenics event and uh, calisthenics is actually a uh, an alternate form of strength training theek hai mm-hmm. this is what um, people do in absence of machines and it's actually for for people at a beginner level people at a advanced level people at ultra beginner anybody can start but when you see it as a sport it's got some categories okay okay and uh, this event that happened in bombay was was one of the uh, one of the reasons that uh, that one of the things that inspired barbarian okay now this event that's when we realized that you know calisthenics has a community of people who want to compete So we came up with categories. We planned the event. We had around seventy-five, eighty participants. Okay. Coming from Bombay, from Delhi, from Bangalore, from Meerut, all over India. Uh, we realized it can be bigger and better next year. The next year we had around hundred participants. The next, the year after that we had around one twenty-five, one thirty participants, and this year we had around two hundred participants. Wow. And every participant gets a viewer with them. So around say. 500 people got total event tha wo and it was a big event so um what happens is um 
we invite judges uh, two are from bombay one international judge who we have to cover the flight and food and stay everything for them and uh, they judge the freestyle event now barbarian has has five categories i mean you know there are five categories in which you can participate okay one is like a ma- girl boy circuit one is body weight endurance so only body weight calisthenics you know pull ups push ups etc right um y- your score depends on how many reps you do and uh, you are given a circuit basically and you have to finish in the fastest time and um, then there is weighted calisthenics where you add weights to your body and do pull ups <laughs> and push ups and stuff like that then there's statics and then there's freestyle all the flips and tricks and dynamics that you see on the bar it's called freestyle okay wo dikhta hai aisa hai that apne um, randomly kuch kar diya hai but for every move that you're doing there's a certain point system so um that's something that the judges do okay. so uh, there are different categories in that it's let's not get into the depth so barbarian is an event that created a lot of noise in pune okay a lot of noise and soon we realized that by our third event our members were preparing for barbarian like 6 6 months in advance wow yeah they started asking us when is the next barbarian when is the circuit coming out you know stuff like that that success and brand started to approach and they said that we want to put our stall so we had around 4 5 stalls in the in the first event and by by the last event we had more than 15 20 sponsors asking for you know f- to put their stall but then the last barbarian happened in koregaon park and we had a smaller space the one thing that happens is that itna shor mach jata hai there's music and there's people you know flowing in uh, for the event there's in fact we keep a we keep paid entry even for viewers wow. and people still show up it's a mad house it's a mad house and every barbarian we've had neighboring buildings doing a police complaint <laughs> and we've always have police come at the weirdest of hours when a battle is going on or something like that so uh, i mean itna shor machane ka ek disadvantage bhi hai so that's barbarian for you i mean that's amazing so you, you do this every year you bring we do this every year this is our annual event okay okay yeah and the plan is that next year we do we do a fitness expo okay call it pune's grandest fitness event because like i told you now we are getting into you know a football facility or mm-hmm, cricket mm-hmm. so simultaneously i want to ap- apart from a calisthenics event outside of the gym i want a football uh, tournament to run okay. parallelly a cricket tournament to run and then we have a pickleball court and i want an mma uh, the mma ring to have some of the other event so okay. we are aiming about at about 1000 participants next wow, year that's crazy yeah let's hope you get there all the best man thank you um so let me come back to this uh, the topic of habits so you 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 talked about some of the bad habits what are some of the good habits that you it was difficult for you to take in in your life everyday routine what are some of the good habits you had to um instill in your body the idea of a fit body you know stands on five pillars okay good workout good nutrition good sleep no stress and enough hydration okay? okay ideally the textbook only had three sleep f- uh, nutrition and training but the modern lifestyle has added two more pillars which are equally important okay. which is your stress and your level of hydration hmm. okay now all of this has to go hand in hand for a for somebody who's in you know who's who's general population who's a normal member who's coming to us right and we are coaches okay now uh, what happens is um when i'm taking a group batch or when my coach is taking a group batch theek hai outside of his work theek hai he has to uh, he has to make sure that all these five factors are ticked off because his energy level on the floor cannot drop mm-hmm. the main reason is people who are coming to the gym everybody has a different reason somebody is coming because um you know his parents are pushing him to ja kha bahut kha raha hai etc right. etc or 20 25 year old girl will be coming because she was you know she was made uncomfortable in public that you know mm-hmm. because of a dress that she wore mm. or 15 year old guy is coming because he's track running and uh, he wants to win the race or 40 year old guy is coming because now he's in his midlife crisis he's going through obesity and um, that could be the reason correct a 50 year old guy will come because he has got he has a late kid he gets tired with work and he doesn't have the energy to play with his own child 
Absolutely. You know, so that's why he's coming. Somebody at 70 will come cause knee pain and he has to climb two floors to get to his house. So, reason kisi ka bhi kuch bhi ho sakta hai. They are coming to acquire something at the gym. Right. A- and mostly, it's good energy. Theek mm-hmm. hai? Energy cannot be created. It is only transferred. Okay. Right? So, if the coach, he, or say me, for example, if I am uh, carrying my outside problem into my workplace and I feel a little off, you know, um, if I fail to create energy, the people in my batch will not be happy. Hmm. And they don't care whether you feel good or bad. Right. Their entire point is make me ha- make me do a, a good or a brilliant workout so I can walk here sweating and smiling. Correct. Right. So no matter how you feel outside of the gym, um, training yourself to wash yourself off and not carry that inside the gym while training people because you need to have a really good mood and a v- really good energy time lagta hai you have to tra- yeah, yeah, yeah. you difficult. have to train yourself for that so um, coming ta- back to the point uh, like i said good good a good workout is only say 20 or 30% of a fit body okay. then there's good nutrition and if both of them are going hand in hand theek mm-hmm. hai and you're not sleeping enough how much can these two do because y- you actually um progress and you actually transform in your sleep i mean not exactly like how i've put it but your body changes when it's in complete rest okay right that's how rest and recovery works okay stress plays an important factor especially in women in um, their hormone health hmm. so that's again affecting the three of the other three okay the stress are you talking about mental stress mental stress yeah okay. mental stress and um the last one is hydration hydration is the easiest to fix correct theek hai but the best part is if you create your discipline in in your workout where mm-hmm. no matter what you're showing up and you're training at least 5 to 6 days a week mm-hmm. undisturbed theek hai focused exercise all right no touching your phone in that one hour you've got to be so fucking selfish that it's your time theek right. hai do a brilliant workout where you are timing yourself you're logging your progress that today i've done say five pushups i've done 10 squats i've done 15 uh, burpees and i have done uh, 25 crunches that's your workout log forget it finish it now go on to the next day okay if you carry that discipline theek mm. hai slowly steadily your body starts to rewire itself and make you realize that you're working hard over there now let's fix the nutrition part because right. you can't be going out and eating mcdonald's 3 days a week and expecting yourself to transform correct right once that happens already a tired body sleeps well hmm. right mm-hmm. so the first factor has already affected the second and the third now once you fix these three factors um when it, when you come to stress theek hai anyways your cortisol levels will go down your testosterone will you know boost as you work out and i always ask you know people say that gym cannot solve my mental health problems but i posted a reel recently that how many people you know who walk out of a good workout and don't have a smile on their face <laughs> you know who walks out of a good workout with a sad face you know right so your problem with stress is been solved at least for that one or one and a half hour or two hours right if not the rest of the day एंड हाइड्रेशन वेन यू आर वर्किंग आउट वैसे ही आपका एक लीटर कवर हो जाने वाला है जो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर अंडर हाइड्रेटेड ठीक है एक लीटर तो उधर ही कवर हो जाएगा एंड लाइक आई साइड इफ अ टायर बॉडी स्लीप्स वेल इट ऑल्सो आस्क फॉर हाइड्रेशन यू विल बी पार्च करेक्ट सो अ गुड वर्कआउट एंड अप सॉल्विंग ऑल ऑफ दीज प्रॉब्लम एंड गुड से आई वुड से अ डिसिप्लिन वर्कआउट राइट डू यू ऑल्सो फील दैट वर्कआउट हेल्प्स यू रिमूव योर रेज योर एंगर योर Does, does do you feel sometimes like you're very rage you're very angry or something and then you do a workout you feel lighter in your mood um you do but uh you have to actually disconnect from the outside world first okay um when you are doing your set see there's uh, there's always mind muscle connection i could be having a 10 kg barbell and doing like 25 30 curls and it it will have absolutely no effect if my mind is wandering in my office okay mm-hmm. fuck that file and um presentation and deadline and how will i match this when all of that is going on mm-hmm. even if you are working out it's not going to affect 
ठीक है बिकॉज देर हैज टू बी माइंड मसल कनेक्शन वेन इट कम्स टू रेज एंड फ्रस्टेशन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल कम टू द जिम प्योरली टू वेंट एंड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पॉपुलेशन कम्स प्योरली प्योरली टू वेंट सो बिलीव मी वेन आई से दैट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज पीपल इफ दे गोइंग थ्रू यू नो माइनर लेवल ऑफ एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन एक्सेट्रा द जिम कैन सॉल्व देयर प्रॉब्लम ठीक है बट इफ दे आर गोइंग थ्रू यू नो ओवर थिंकिंग एंगजाइटी डिप्रेशन एक्सेट्रा वी आर कोचेज वी आर नॉट थेरेपिस्ट करेक्ट राइट सो वी के नॉट वी के नॉट सॉल्व योर मेंटल हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम राइट द जिम विल ओनली मेक यू फील गुड अबाउट योर बॉडी राइट ओके विच विल हैव अ रिपल इफेक्ट ऑन ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स द स्ट्रेस लेवल कैन कम डाउन टू अ सर्टन एक्सटेंट बट if if you are having an unstable mind if you are having a say it cannot solve a bad relationship Correct. it cannot solve uh, your salary problems <laughs> you know so um yeah people come to vent they feel good about it there's no doubt that the gym is going to make you feel beautiful but uh, any problem with your mental health and lot of people say that uh, i want to come to the gym because i'm really really stressed in life and mm. my partner is stressing me my job is stressing me first you go and see your therapist mm. okay simultaneously you start working out but don't think that the gym is going to solve these problems you know because right. you're going to come here and you're going to vent out <laughs> and you're going to feel good after lifting weights or you will um you will try to satisfy your ego by lifting heavy and injure yourself true true and that's the last thing you want to do you so know? you think a calmer person is better at workouts than a revengeful person definitely Def- a calmer mind will always make sane decisions hmm you know it will never tell you that my capacity is to say uh, do 5 reps of deadlift with 100 kg so i'm going to go 120 now go to 105 correct 110 that this is purely a you know this is a calm mind that right. speaks to you but if a if an unstable mind hmm. does five reps at 100 kg at five reps at 100 kg he's definitely going to be like i want to jump to 120 cuz he's he's looking for something to satisfy his his ego or something to that satisfies his um his emptiness that's coming from somewhere else true you know absolutely true um let me move to nutrition you you were talking about right uh, i want to start by asking you what is your daily routine in terms of food uh, just a while ago you were drinking coffee you were asking for a lot of sugar in it yeah so tell so, me about um, that as well now uh, that's purely my habit with black coffee i'm not a person who has black coffee a lot but if i'm having black coffee it's purely cause i might be feeling a little uh, off and i need a small boost of energy okay uh, before my workout sometimes before um having a conversation that i need to be energized for um so i need maybe one or two sachets of sugar because i hate the taste that's purely for my taste buds now uh, when it comes to nutrition i personally follow an 80 20 rule mm-hmm. 80% of my food i keep it clean okay mostly home cooked and ingredients that i know are going in it and 20% i am okay if somebody offers me something from outside or maybe a sweet or an ice cream or something like that i i had also posted a story recently where a lot lot of people related to and also replied to on this i posted that um i follow an 80 20 rule and i will eat one spoon of vanilla ice cream um every single day sometimes two or three depending on how my mood is okay. so what this does is it satisfies my craving mm-hmm. and not my hunger mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. usually what happens is you feel like what do you say fill your stomach on a sweet dish don't do that satisfy your hunger and eat what you actually satisfy your craving and eat what you what you actually supposed to eat so 80 20 rule i don't cook my food anymore i used to cook my food first okay um i have one uh, auntie who i call my annadata now because <laughs> um she's also a very big blessing in my life she sends me my lunch and dinner mm-hmm. and i have my food i have, i see i eat really simple food i have um this is all quantified nutrition so you'll have uh you you'll have uh dal chawal chicken and dahi okay theke? in certain quantities 150 grams chicken 150 grams uh, uh 30 grams rice etc etc mostly any form of dal and rice and chicken and dahi 
and that will also be my dinner most of the time or maybe rajma in place of dal okay and my breakfast will be always um, an omelet with three eggs and uh, two sliced toasts okay so i keep my nutrition very simple in between if i have to snack it will be either dry fruits or fruits okay and um, i've realized one thing that uh, just like how you need to follow a workout plan consistently for 12 weeks to see any kind of progress mm-hmm. it's the same with food no matter how it kills you you can always change the type of dal or you can i mean not type of dal you can always uh, make a dal ka paratha in okay. place of dal if you don't want to eat but your food and the quantities have to be have to be fixed for a certain period of duration for you to see any sort of progress and that's something that really worked for me and now till date if i'm going outside to eat i know that if i'm going say like right now i'm in kuwait and i'm on mm. my vacation so right. most of the times outside i'm i'll be having a little bit of rice some kebabs and um lentil soup bolte hain yahan pe right <laughs> it's funny <laughs> so that or uh, if i'm not going to some place like that then it will again be maybe grilled chicken mm-hmm. and um, because i could not suffice my carb intake from anywhere else maybe a fatayer for example right हफ्ते में कितनी बार चीट करते हो सो आई डोंट हैव अ चीट डे ओके आई ओनली हैव अ चीट मील मोस्टली ओके आई डोंट कीप अ चीट डे बिकॉज़ आई डोंट सपोर्ट दैट एट ऑल अम वंस जस्ट ओनली ऑन संडेस द डेज द आंटी डजंट सेंड फूड ओके या अदरवाइज 6 डेज बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलरेडी पेड फॉर इट एंड बिकॉज़ आई नो दैट इट्स कमिंग आई डोंट हैव एन ऑप्शन टू ऑर्डर फ्रॉम आउटसाइड the right. only thing i can actually eat outside is my breakfast if i have not prepared it from home mm-hmm. and that also even if i'm going outside i stick to a three egg omelet or three boiled eggs with toast and maybe black tea favorite food pune mein kahan ka hai favorite food is um so my actually my favorite food is tandoori chicken okay um from a place called jashan oh yeah Afghan. is it a, outside the nibm road yes yes, Ar- yes. near the roundabout um it's opposite dorab ji's uh, near nibm but you can say right, around right, right. yeah nice food yes yeah yeah okay um uh, let's move on to i i've been following intermittent fasting okay. for the past few years on and off kabhi 10 kilo utar jata hai kabhi fir chhod deta ho to 5 kilo badh jata hai what do, what is your idea of intermittent fasting do you follow it do you believe it kya hai science uske beech mein if you actually go to see Every Muslim or Bori has followed intermittent fasting for one entire month, hmm. every single year. Right. At least most of their life, if they're fasting. So, Ramzan puts you into intermittent fasting. ठीक है? F- not forcefully, of course, by respect of religion. Right. Um, but it works because I don't know how many of us have um, realized, but your energy, your creativity. is highest in the month of ramzan not exactly early in the mornings but mm-hmm. when it comes to afternoon time mm-hmm. theek hai uh, now the deal with inter- intermittent fasting is there are a lot of ki- lot of diets there's the paleo diet there's a carnivore diet there's vegan diet there's a vegetarian there's a non vegetarian i mean you know there's a lot of kind of correct lot of type of uh, nutrition plans that people follow so i personally feel only and only follow if it's sustainable okay if you cannot sustain it for more than 3 months mm-hmm. okay more than 3 months do not follow it make tiny little changes that your body is asking you to okay uh, i also tried intermittent fasting in fact i tried to go uh, zero sugar once okay. absolutely no sugar i could do it for like 3 days mm-hmm. and i realized it's playing around with my energy mm-hmm. and i didn't like it Okay. you know there were times when i was feeling low and um i i just didn't like it so any m- minor or big change that you're making in your diet mm-hmm. or any thing that you know uh, there's a there's a gm diet you know okay general motors diet okay what is it's that? a very weird diet i think you'll have to look it up on google because i also forgot wo ek din aapko sirf fruits khana hai एक दिन आपको सिर्फ कुछ केला या दूध खाना है एक दिन आपको सिर्फ चिकन खाना है एक दिन समथिंग लाइक दैट फॉर सेवन डेज एंड देन यू गो टू रिपीट इट ओके यू एंड अप लूजिंग थ्री टू फोर के जीज एज सुन एज यू 
get onto your normal food again you end up gaining 2 kg this is their claim mm-hmm. that you will go into a deficit of 4 kg or 5 kg and then you will come back into 2 3 kg but it totals to 2 kg for example mm-hmm. so ab aap wo difference dekho kitna gaye the aur kitna aaye wo mat dekho right but it's not a sustainable thing that's the point correct theek hai uh, people say i am going to go uh, lactose free from tomorrow why do that you have been raised in an indian family jahan pe tujhe doodh pilaya hai teri puri zindagi right right you say i will not eat rice from tomorrow you're a south indian you can't afford to do that <laughs> your body is accustomed to derive energy from rice right 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 from both people say i'm going to turn vegan can't do that mat kar yaar don't do it because your because meat is something that has played a very important role hmm. in uh, say um, in your body you know deriving it's in it's primary source of protein from people who don't take supplements mostly meat and dairy are their primary sources of correct uh, protein intake right and these guys who turn vegan right from deriving your proteins from this thing you are going to shift to plant protein your body is going to react mm-hmm. you will mm-hmm. you will feel low you will f- see um hair fall you will see it will also reset itself mm-hmm. but that's a that's a period of 3 to 6 months that you have to give your body to reset itself correct to now deriving energy from a completely different form of food sure. right so my opinion on nu- nutrition is is very simple continue if it's sustainable theek hai have an 80 20 rule have home food as much as possible okay grilled over fried um fresh over um say like fresh fruit juice over any sort of syrup packaged yeah fresh over packaged right anything that has a shelf life of over 3 to 6 months avoid okay that is so basically you're saying ki agar koi bhi diet lifestyle banti hai then go for it agar lifestyle nahi banti hai don't avoid it. it yeah yeah avoid it okay to meri intermittent intermittent fasting lifestyle hai meri then then it's i okay. i try to do only dinners right um every day at home so ghar ka khana bhi milta hai so i i avoid every other meal theek hai na so you're just eating one meal a day yes so this what happens is you'll have to um now okay it's a it's a lengthy concept that i'll explain but um there's something called as tdee okay, okay. total daily energy expenditure okay everybody spends a certain amount of calories theek mm-hmm. hai in the entire day okay so if i am burning say 2000 calories out of that 2000 okay i am burning maybe 2 or 300 from my workout which constitutes around 10 12% of your entire tde mm-hmm. okay i'll have to actually draw it and show it to you is it possible yeah i think you can use this as a illustration if you want I'm just going to take general figures. I'm not saying for you specifically. Okay. There's something called as TDEE, okay? Total daily energy expenditure. All right? This is measured in calories. Hmm. The unit of measure is calories, okay? Now, in your entire day, suppose you're ha- you're burning 2000 kilo calories. Okay? Out of that that 2000 um 50% 60% okay so 60% is going to be your bmr okay this is your basal metabolic rate okay okay this means that there is a certain amount of energy that your body will burn for your heart to beat for um, for your organs to function basically if you are absolutely doing nothing and sitting on the couch watching netflix from morning to night your body will still burn 60 some amount of calories which is your right. bmr this is basically jeene ke liye aapke itne calories to burn hone wale Correct. which is 60% of this so let's say um, 1200 okay okay now around no matter what, how heavy of a workout you do unless you're going for a 42 km run or a 21 say 21 to 42 km run hmm. you're not going to burn So an average person will burn around two to three hundred calories. Okay. Okay. In his workout. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is your uh, PA, which is your physical activity. Okay. Okay. 
दिस इज योर बी एम आर फुल फॉर्म जे दिस इज योर फिजिकल एक्टिविटी नाउ देर इज अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ कैलरीज दैट यू बर्न डूइंग अदर थिंग्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम फिजिकल एक्टिविटी विच इज कॉल्ड नीट एन ई ए टी विच इज नॉन एक्सरसाइज एक्टिविटी थर्मोजेनेसिस यू विल हैव टू फिगर आउट द स्पेलिंग में ये फुल फॉर्म है ओके ठीक है दिस वॉज अराउंड टेन परसेंट अनदर ट्वेंटी परसेंट योग बर्न through non exercise activities climbing stairs um cooking food theek hai working okay mm-hmm. on the laptop moving from here to there right. this all comes under non exercise activity now usually what happens is neat is subjective from post everything is subjective but neat in particular is subjective if i'm a sales executive who has to go door to door theek hai i'm going to end up burning more than somebody who sits on an on like a an accountant on, ha huh, like more than an accountant okay, okay. or somebody who has a sedentary lifestyle who is living an it job uh, ka life correct okay now um, apart from this there's certain amount of calories that your body burns ye maine chart thoda ye jo hai na idhar hona chahiye theek hai isko nikal denge sorry and there's a certain amount of calories your body will burn in order to uh, say 10 to 15% in order to digest its food theek hai this is called tef so this is called thermic effect of food okay? okay now why they say that eat a high protein diet a high protein high fat diet is cause the the molecular uh, composition of a pr- the protein molecule is tougher to break down right than a carb molecule mm-hmm. so when you eat a protein high protein diet automatically your body burns more energy to digest it okay so your entire energy expenditure goes up right mm-hmm. so all of a sudden now you're not burning 2000 kilo calories now you're burning maybe 2100 or 200 because of two things one making your life active mm-hmm. okay by um, moving around in between your office hours or you know taking your calls while walking right right this all increases your need Okay. Second is you've shifted to a high protein diet, okay, where you are eating chicken, eggs, etc., which your body is taking its own time to. It has its ill effects also. Uh, your TF has gone up, so you're burning maybe a little more calories than before. Mm-hmm. Your physical activity cannot burn more than two fifty, three hundred, four hundred max to max. Okay. If you're having a two-hour workout, ठीक है. Okay. And your BMR stays at sixty. Now the answer to your question is I'm having only one meal. Mm-hmm. Okay. is this you cannot go below 1200 calories okay because this is your bmr your body needs a certain amount of energy to generally to live generally okay, okay? if somebody wants to lose weight over a period of say 6 months 8 months from here you have to go into a caloric deficit of sorry caloric deficit of not more than 10% ठीक है इन ऑर्डर टू लिव अ सस्टेनेबल लाइफ स्टाइल ओके राइट इन ऑर्डर फॉर योर बॉडी टू नॉट सी इल इफेक्ट्स ओके सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू गो इन टू अ कैलरी डेफिसिट नॉट नॉट मोर देन टेन परसेंट ओके नाउ वॉट यू सेट इज योर ईटिंग वन मील दैट वन मील हैज टू बी रियली बिग एंड हैवी इनफ ओके फॉर यू टू कंज्यूम एनी वेर अराउंड थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड कैलरीज ओके ठीक है ओनली देन बट देन अगेन Uh, you cannot consume more than i think there's a there's something called as protein turnover okay um you cannot con- digest more than 30 35 grams of protein in a single sitting okay unless you are accustomed to do unless mm-hmm. you have a carnivore diet per se mm-hmm. so if it's sustainable theek hai now what happens is what happens if you are consuming less than 1200 what happens mm-hmm. if you are consuming only 800 every every single day your body adapts to this number now to 800 okay. okay and when you start to come out of that lifestyle and eating a little more when you are traveling or when say ramzan comes and aap zyada khane ka zyada kha lete ho so you will start gaining weight 
ओके इट कैन नॉट एडजस्ट टू समथिंग विच इज लेस देन योर आई आई नो इट वॉज टू डीप एंड थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजिंग नहीं इट वॉज टू टेक्निकल बट कोशिश कर रहे हैं हम लोग समझने के लिए या ओके मेक सेंस यस सो वट इफ वट इफ आई डोंट ईट एट ऑल लाइक इफ आई गो मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स टू फास्ट देर आर सम पीपल हु डोंट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद अ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर फास्ट ओके ओके दी सी इट ऑल्सो इट्स ऑल्सो लोकेशन डिपेंडेंट Mm-hmm. a person living in norway consuming beef three times a day will not have a problem in his gut because the temperature is so cold correct and his activity is so much he has to walk so much he will he will digest it true for a person like us we will we'll see it on our face the very next day right. you know aapko pimples ho jayenge ya aapko indigestion ho jayega kyunki aapka temperature aapko allow nahi karta hai correct similarly if somebody is living in such an atmosphere where a 24 hour fast works for him Okay. Then it's okay. In a place like Kuwait, there's no way. There's no way. The sun is too strong. Um, activity is there if you have an outbound job. Mm-hmm. So no. Okay. A um, lot to take in. <laughs> a lot of lifestyle changes to be made. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a there's a good news that we have received recently. Yes. yes. You were scheduled to give a TED talk on our mental health resilience and physical fitness intertwined. can you elaborate on this topic and how did you come up to this success so um i was i was always active on instagram honestly but i never c- created content uh regularly like you know consistent posting was not happening mm-hmm. and um one fine day one of my friends said that i i'm i'm really good with taking stories and uh, you know videos and stuff like that right and uh, he said that you are taking brilliant you know content but why are you not posting it on your why is it not on your feed i said it is there it is there in my stories he said stories disappear mm. you know let it be on your feed so when somebody comes on your feed he has to get lost into your feed he has to spend so much time that he realizes okay fuck bahut time ho gaya let's <laughs> just go to some other page correct you know uh, that will only happen if you are posting back to back Hmm. so that made me realize that my videos were better than other content creators in my industry and they were at least fairly uh, doing well so i started now whatever stories i took i posted it on youtube also and on my uh, instagram also posts i never gave it a second thought right a lot of times what happens is you watch your content more than what the audience is ever going to watch true and you keep overthinking on it absolutely, right absolutely absolutely i gave it a full stop i said i'm going to go Balls out posting. My followers went from like eight k to around forty one point five something is going on right now. Right. And um, I mean, I loved it. My content. Few videos went viral. And uh, there's a TED talk that happens in VIT. I think every once a year. And um, they must be scouting for young, you know, entrepreneurial mindset. So um, they approached me and they messaged me on Instagram. I actually asked them, "How did you all find me?" So uh, they said, "We." first come up with the idea so they mm-hmm. said they first came up with the idea of um, you know uh, mental resilience physical health calisthenics they must be having keywords right and then uh, they start scouting people on instagram or on linkedin or places like that and they must have found out my content then they do a background check if he's actually legitimate you know in today's <laughs> world there are um, influencers versus people who actually influence right <laughs> you know true that's true so they always have to do a background check so once they did a background check they realized that okay it's legitimate then they asked me what do you do you know i told them i have this gym etc etc they asked me when did you start and they liked the story they liked my story and uh, they said that okay you, we are invited to give a tech talk tech talk it's a uh, you have to speak anywhere between 5 to 18 minutes you can't go above 18 you can't go below 5 and um they came we discussed the idea um first the topic was quite confusing you know apart from calisthenics and whether fitness uh, goes hand in hand with mental resilience physical fitness goes hand in hand with mental resilience mm-hmm. iske alawa bahut sare other topics the but then we boiled down to one thing i told them that you know what i do on a regular basis i can speak more confidently about right so let's just stick to calisthenics and these two ideas so yeah and um, yeah i mean as as a teenager uh, you are who uses whatsapp bahut sare log bhejte aapko ted talk and mm. then you 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 know you sit and uh, figure out ke kaise karte honge yaar what a lovely talk and how they must be rehearsing for it or are they actually rehearsing for it <laughs> and how he just i watched a ted talk 
uh, of Shah Rukh Khan and I realized he did it in exactly 17 minutes 51 seconds and the entire time I was stuck to the screen he was so flawless in his speech and I I had watched it long back and I said I wanted if I want to do something I want to do something like that and then all of a sudden you first of all when you receive a message from TEDx you're like yeah legit hai ki nahi <laughs> so you go on to the page you do a background check and then eventually with the replies you realize okay okay something like that is happening <laughs> and um, yeah it's i mean it it's a privilege it's fun and oh, when is this happening it's happening on 27th of april okay uh, which din mein yeah yeah which is in two days okay. and i've been preparing for my speech isliye itna jaldi bhag rahe ho <laughs> yeah yeah i was supposed to say in kuwait for a post 30th because my brother's birthday and i thought that aaya you to do teen hafta reh ke jata ho but then this ted talk came in and then i said i'll have to cut the trip short so right. how are you feeling we invited you to the podcast before tedx <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is also a very <laughs> good thing that is that has happened you know on those lines yeah, along the way um, i'm sure hamara video zyada viral hoga <laughs> ted talk se <sir>. inshallah <laughs> Ha huh, exactly. <laughs> so TED Talks will purely uh, be on uh, YouTube. I mean they have hmm. unka YouTube channel hai. So uh, Instagram I can just take bites out of it. Correct. Um but yeah so 26 will be dress rehearsal stage rehearsal then stuff like that and then 27th will be. Humko shout out dena please. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So it's actually there are around 100 students that will be there from okay. an engineering college. You know? Okay. sometimes you just look back and your life just doesn't sum up <laughs> like you've come from a, from a fitness background you did not take science seeing your brother <laughs> the kind of study uh, pressure that was there and um, you end up giving a ted talk at vit for engineering students so i mean main kaha aa gaya bhai yeah i mean it's it's quite funny right. how things turn out to be well it was a pleasure talking to you brother and same here तुम्हारे पर्सनल लाइफ के बारे में बहुत जानने मिला लर्न अ लॉट अबाउट योर लाइफ एंड योर टीचिंग्स एज वेल टेक्निकल एंड इंस्पिरेशनल एक्सपीरियंसेज एज वेल आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फन आई होप यू हैड फन एज वेल आई लव इट एंड लेट्स रैप इट ऑफ या ओके सिक्स मंथ्स के बाद मैन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर विजिटिंग एंड चूज मैन